Three more children have died after being in left in hot cars. One man has been arrested in New Jersey after his eight week old daughter died. Hours later, police say the same thing happened outside a New York apartment complex. A similar incident occurred Sunday involving a one year old in the southern Illinois town of Fairfield. A two year old was injured in that case. Now, one woman is facing multiple charges. Now, at least 13 children have died in hot cars across the United States so far this year, according to the organization Kids in Car Safety. Last week, we gave you tips to prevent the tragedy from happening to you. And in the wake of these recent deaths, we're going to once again remind you of ways you can prevent hot car deaths. ABC's Perry Russell reports. It's easy to think it couldn't happen to you. We all think that, you know, we would never forget our children with this. And as precious as they are to us, for our brains, we go into autopilot mode. It's an unfortunate reality that children die of heat stroke in hot cars. Dr. Emily Thomas, manager of auto safety at Consumer Reports, says even when it's not that hot outside, temperatures inside a car can rise to a dangerous level. We did testing on a 60 degree day and within one hour, the inside of the vehicle got to be over 100 degrees. The heat poses a greater risk for children. Their bodies heat up three to five times faster than adults, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. Dr. Thomas says parking in the shade or cracking a window is not enough. And although some newer vehicles have alerts to remind you to check the back seat, Dr. Thomas says oftentimes the tech does not directly sense for a rear passenger, so it's important not to rely on these systems. Oftentimes these cases occur when there is a change in routine, Parents or caregivers are sleep deprived and they're stressed, which is very typical. And so we really encourage caregivers to do a few different things to help make it part of your routine. Even when your child is not traveling with you, Dr. Thomas suggests keeping something of yours in the back seat. Whether it's your jacket or your purse, a laptop bag, something of yours that at the end of the trip you have to go to the back seat to go retrieve. Then when your child is with you, it's already part of your brain's memory and part of your habit to do so. And so you will check the back seat at the end of the trip. And when your child is with you, put something of theirs on the front seat, like a stuffed animal or sippy cup. It provides your brain with a visual trigger that will tell you to check the back seat because your child is with you. And if you don't have children, Dr. Thomas says you can be a good neighbor. You can keep your vehicles at home always locked and the keys out of reach so that children in your neighborhood cannot access vehicles and get trapped inside. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington. Well, if you see a child alone in a vehicle in the heat, you can call 911, of course, to help get them out.